What's going on, everybody? Hey, y'all. We are back. Woo! It's Drinks and Conversation. Podcast. Yes, we're back for another episode. I think this is what, episode 34? 34. 34. Yeah. I, I'm intro picks and I'm always in the building. And I'm oxytocin and it's always it's going, going down. down. Yes. And we got a special guest joining us tonight. Mr. Yo, UL. Yo, 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 yo. What's yes. going on, everybody? Yes, Mr. UL is in the building. Unique legacy. Hey. That's so smooth, though. That's not awesome. Mr. UL. Like, that's yes. some, like LL Cool J type. It's on that cool kind of level. I like yes. that. I like it. Unique I'm, legacy. Brand. I'm yes. brand by it. Yeah. So tell us about Unique Legacy. What oh. is it? Tell us. What's All going right. on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I'm here, and that's why I want to talk to everybody. So, UL Unique Legacy, that's a brand. I stand by it. It's a clothing line that I'm building, and it's doing very good right now. You want to see what I got going on? www.uniquelegacy.com. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Got the clothing line popping. You All right. Yes. You know? Mm. All right. So, how long you been in business? How long you been putting your clothing line out? Shoot, it's been about maybe about four years now. I'm a retired military vet, and okay. I decided that Pick this up. is what I was going to do once I got out. So, yeah, unique legacy. I stand by Unique it. legacy all day. Absolutely. Sure, and what, sure. what was your inspiration for starting your clothing line? You know, that's kind of funny because um, back when I was in high school, I used to deal with the urban clothing line back in the day, you know, shooters, oh, hope, yeah. all okay. like that. I wanted to be a part of that, so I was doing that back then. And then as time went by, I decided to do my own thing. You know, you cut out the middle man and do your thing. You, do your thing. you got to do right. your own thing. We need to start our own God. Uh, that's entrepreneurship, <laughs> right entrepreneurship there. Yes. out here. Man, Make y'all need to stop faking. That's what y'all doing right now. <laughs> Great for conversation. You they got me out here. <laughs> okay, so how can we find your clothes? Where, where are people going to be able to purchase? What, I mean, what what is the array of things that you have to offer? Let us know. Let the people know okay, okay, how okay. we can get in. Absolutely. So, you know, like I said, I was inspired by the urban sportswear back in the day. Mm-hmm. Clothing and fashion is always changing. So now I'm a little bit of a streetwear type of individual. So okay. you can find me on www.uniquelegacy.com. I'm also on all the social medias, Instagram, Cap Vision, Snap, Cap underscore Vision, and Twitter, Cap Vision, and that's with a Z. All right. All right okay. Yeah, I'm about to all the spell. information. Sometimes people can't spell. You know what I mean? I mean, you got right? to gotta... spell it out. <laughs> yeah. And it's saying because, you know. I just put everything out there, okay? <laughs> so, Unique Legacy, what, what does that mean? Tell us in the title, what, Unique Legacy, what does that mean? Okay. So while I was in the military and I was trying to come up with something, actually I was in Iraq when I really got everything together. So unique, that's all of us. We all are, we the same person when we flip us inside out, but we all have our little unique thing. And then when you're trying to make something last, that's a legacy. So when you want to be recognized, you want to be recognized as a unique legacy. I like right. that. Okay. I like that. You like that? Oh, yeah. I like that too. That's, That's cool. cool. <laughs> I'm unique <laughs> legacy as well. I'm yep. part so of I absolutely yeah. definitely want to support yeah. Mr. UL. This please is a veteran do. right please here. Do. He's please an entrepreneur. Do, he's a black please man do. and he's doing his thing. So Trying please keep check it him out. You have to. Keep it I yeah. appreciate y'all. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of legacy, yes. um, we're going to talk about the DNC recently. And um, Obama spoke. He did. Yeah, I mean, he's trying to leave his legacy like, squeaky he, clean. He did. he did. It was almost like, I want to cry. Like, they really not going to be here anymore. I love they, my I know. president. I know. Like, it's getting down to the wire. Like, okay, the Obamas are leaving. They're not going to be in the White House anymore. I think everybody's going to need, like, a few days off work. I know, like, right? It's a, be, a week to recuperate. We, I think we all going to probably shed a tear. Yes. So we just going to be Dude, like, no. The depression and denial is going to be real. I'm going yeah, to tell yeah, you. Yeah. Did you watch? Did, so we all watched the DNC. Did you watch the DNC? Absolutely. Which one? <laughs> I did one like every night. I know. know. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> and they come on late too. Okay. That's like the legit 
uh, congressional after party. Right. Get me on Basically. late. Yeah, like, I was watching late. from the bed, yeah. trying to fight sleep, but I was watching. You know, Got my watching. mother staying up late, yeah. talking about, did you watch it? Why are you still awake? <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? This time around, like when Obama spoke, I really felt, I really felt back at 2008 when I was watching. Like I, 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 I went absolutely. back. It was like, you know, it was just that that feeling that I was just like, wow. And then when Hillary Clinton came out at the same time, I, you just can't help but just smile. It was like a really positive bright moment absolutely it was absolutely. so presidential that's the only way i could think about it <laughs> was presidential it was Dignitary. it was so presidential and it was speaking of that do you know who you're voting for mr ul oh yeah who are you voting for hillary i want to see you going with yeah. her you with her, you with her? Yeah. i'm with her i'm too. about that I'm life her. we don't the know if her, president we don't know if her is female. With her. we don't know if hers were her don't I'm come about for that. me <laughs> don't come for me right now okay don't don't boo vote yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I'm just owning anybody that votes for Trump. So what? somebody what? tells me they voting, voting for Trump. For Trump? I, no, I'm just saying. Oh, if if somebody okay. tells me that they voting for Trump, I just can't rock with you. That, like that's how those... serious it is. Yeah, because oh, you don't understand head. how serious it is if you out here still trying to vote for Trump. Yeah. I can't rock with you, but I think, like, there's, like, no black people that are really voting for Trump. To Did be you honest. see those? Um, those um, two African American women that was at the um, RNC or whatever. Man, they, they was just getting a check. They was. <laughs> <laughs> Their lives they don't them. matter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they was just getting a check. They trying to get that money. Oh, they don't really are, believe that oh, shit. I don't okay. really think they really be believing that shit. I think somebody need to like hashtag that next to all their videos and their interviews. Like hashtag their lives. Their lives that was so matter. funny right now. I got a good laugh. That was hilarious. Oh my goodness. No. So one thing I like to ask people when they come on the show, Mr. UL, are you, uh, what is your dating life like? Are you dating? Are you in a relationship? Are you single? What's your status on that? How many minutes we gone in already? I'm already going. Don't even worry about <laughs> it. We just drinking and you know, conversating. I gotta ask everybody. <laughs> so everybody, yeah, Mr. What you trying to say? You got a long story? It's nah, gonna take forever. No long story. Oh. I keep that joint sweet and short. Okay. Mr. UL is single. Uh. He's available. You can find me on Cap Vision. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you was gonna say plenty of fish. <laughs> you know, Ain't nobody, nobody's on You giving fish. out your plenty of fish, bro? I'm down into fish. all DM. <laughs> <laughs> it goes down to DM. Within 24 hours, you just get a response. That it got, that's where it goes down in the DM. So, no, seriously, though, how is dating in uh, this area, the DMV area, how is that going for you? You know what? I'm in one of them good positions where they say I don't exist. You know, I'm single. I don't got no kids. And, okay. uh... Hey, everybody trying to find out what it is that I'm doing. So, I mean, That's daily cool. life is cool. cool. You're supposed to go around and just see what's out there. I, are you are you dating, are you using like online sites? Are you just meeting people randomly? I mean, what what what, what you doing as far as dating? Are you just picking? You going to the club? What? Like I said, it's fun. You know, when you're single, you know what I mean? There's no real pedal. You can do whatever. So, yeah, I try some of the online social media little dating sites. It works. I think one of them called Tinder. Hey, Tinder, you better hit me up. I just promoted you. <laughs> and you know what? Uh, you switch to the left. You switch to the right. Um, I'm out in the club. <laughs> the clubs work. You know what I mean? So, you know, it's it's a little bit of a test, but it's cool. It's cool. I'm out here. DM me, Mr. Cap Vision. Okay. All right. I'm putting it out there. I'm going to be curious. People say they have such a hard time in this area, so i just like to ask you that question. Oh, no, it's cool because it is a hard time in this area. <laughs> Everybody thinks they somebody that they're not, so, you know. Well, what do you think that we need to connect more people with people? I mean, what do you think that's something that, that we need? Outside of social media. Outside of social media. Yeah. Like, what, what, what do you think you need? Tell the truth. Stop lying. <laughs> Be yourself. Be yourself. Tell the but truth. Then ain't nobody going to want no shit. <laughs> you know, All right. I'm you looking know, for the girl that tell the truth. You decrease that shit down to, like, two no. people. But can you say that on a first date? Let's just say first date, you okay. are actually genuinely yourself on that first date. Like, what you see is what she's going to get. Absolutely, but the only problem is, you know, I, I like the school, so, you know, they kind of think it's supposed to stay like that. Nah, I want a little bit of, you know, back and forth. If I pay one time, you 
you try to pay the next time. I might tell you don't worry about it, but at least I know you'll do it. Or he might let you pay for it, so you gotta be careful when you <laughs> Mr. UL, Cat Visions, we out here. DM me. I, I believe in paying for the first I believe in paying for I believe in paying for dates. If I invite you out, yeah. we go out. Absolutely. I, I'm, I'm, I, I expect to pay. I'm still yeah. a man yeah, at first, so yeah. you already know. Yeah, that's yeah. what you're supposed to do. Yeah. That's what you're supposed to do. You know. No, but I'm just talking like getting to know someone. I know on a first date, I'm like, go not the real me. You know the real me. <laughs> you know the real me. I'm like legit. Well, you haven't let your guard down. You yeah, on a date. Now, it's like hard to do that on the first date. You just manufacture this persona or this facade that just literally comes out of nowhere you'll be like i know i want to eat all of that but i'm about to just eat a little but bit but you should like, just you, you should know, just have a good time yeah, that's, that's what you just should just focus on you having a good time not being your actual self i don't think my actual legit self no i like, think i probably wouldn't even let a curse word out but you know the general me i think that's just some, i think you that's just I mean? the difference between w- women and men because I, I can't. That's when you really like somebody and you probably are curious and you don't want to give them too much too soon. But with guys, I think that we, you know, we just going to have a good time and we just going to, sh- we may put on a charm, you know, put on a little charm, little yeah, extra, little, little extra. finesse, you know. But <laughs> smell good that I don't know if you, you know, go to the good stuff. Turn the good stuff. Yeah. Yeah, turn yeah. The I don't know if he's the leader for all, <laughs> you know. Don't be <laughs> I will say this though, if I'm buying your meal, I need you to eat it. Don't pick something out and then you're not gonna eat it. Eat that. Eat it. That's true. Don't waste our money. Don't waste my money. Let me tell you how it goes, right? Buy that you salad. just eat a little bit and then you get the take home plate and you go home, put on your sweatpants, tank top, hair up, and you devour the rest of your meal. <laughs> like you wanted to in a first place. See, that's the problem. But you just gotta that's keep the problem. That's the problem. Uh-huh. That's the problem. I can't, I can't cool. be out always there trying to give us, always trying to stretch, mouth. stretch it out, <laughs> stretch it out. So I'll save some of this for later. Because but the ain't next day you that. ain't gonna do that. I'm gonna be like, who are you? Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that at all. Okay. Speaking of ain't nothing wrong with that at all, what do you think about Bow Wow and his claim to be mixed? Um, he said that he really couldn't identify. He did not identify, but didn't want to pick a side in the whole, you know, Black Lives Matter and everything that's going on with police brutality because he's a, he's mixed. And he's saying that the Shaw Moss, the Moss side of the family is a, a Native American or Caucasian or something like that. So what do you think about that? He said he's not voting either. He said he's not going to vote. You know, I don't, I don't know what, what, I don't know what bubble Bow Wow been living in. Yeah. Like, I don't know what reality he been living at. But it's like the, the older he get, the, 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 the stupid, the stupid that he gets. <laughs> like, I don't, I just don't know. Let me tell you, you know, something. you take white paint and you take a drop of black paint on top of that, and you become black. So I don't know what he's talking about. I Ooh, mean, Lord. my thing is, I was just like. That just came out of left field. Like, did anyone ask you, why did you feel compelled to share that unsolicited information? That's what I was thinking. Like, nobody asked you. You just sounded dumb on your own. And then he posted a picture of his father who, I mean, he just looks like a light-skinned black dude. He don't really look later American. No I don't get I, what was the point of it all to even share. That's I guess thing. what he's saying is that he's not white. He's not black. He's in between. So he can't identify with people that are black. He can't but, I- identify with 100% black. When he, look, right when, he look, when he looks at old movies, <laughs> he don't see a light-skinned guy. I know when you but go you know right from black wrong. or something, you put either African-American or white. There's no mix on that application, so I don't know what that means. <laughs> no both. You better check both. <laughs> check both of them. I'm black and I'm white. I don't know. It's just and silver. Basically, he got dragged online. You know, black Twitter came for him, and they came for him hard. Y'all know black Twitter is nothing to be played with. Not at all. They will come for your edges. Yes, <laughs> okay? They His was got. So, I mean, he learned. That is the one. He learned. I was just confused. Like, you know. Did you catch the, uh, the article about Jordan talking about he won't sell no more of his shoes until... All the black people come together. Excuse me, unite. I missed that article. Oh my god. I missed that one because until the black people shoes. unite. Yes, that I'm man will sell all the Jordans shoes. that's coming out. If I don't see no shoes come out when that day come. I'm okay. Then you gonna believe it. Yeah. Well, Michael I, Jordan doing I, a lot. I don't. I don't know. I was cool with 
first statement he released. We talked about that last podcast. That was cool, but I right. definitely missed the article of him saying he's not releasing any shoes. I highly doubt that's the case. I doubt you it. You know, too. we'll see what happens. Yeah, no. Next I mean, but he hasn't really released any new, new, <laughs> he, he new released, stuff. Like, he released them again and again. Yeah, and again so and again. Where's again? the new stuff? No new stuff. No new stuff. When you join no in, stuff. you just release the old stuff. <laughs> he just released. Yeah. I don't want the old stuff. I'm sorry. No, I, no, no. I like people the retro. People do. I want the people oh, like the retro. Yes. Hey. Let me tell you, I want them 11s. The red, black, and white ones. I. I ain't had no money like that. Sitting at the house in the box. Up. And <laughs> I wanted those shoes like that. Now you got a good job. You want some drugs. Trying to pop them. Those like the only days. If you don't I'm hit me with it. something new, I need something new. I need like 2017. I need 2018 stuff. No, okay? he, Give me 2018 and 2016. Jordan. He's not going to do that. Now, well, no. and if he does, then so I well, can't rock with you. Buy it anyway. I can't no, rock with you. the old stuff. I don't want the old stuff. That's like selling me. That's like selling me the first iPhone over again. Talk about, woo, don't you remember this? We made it in a new color. <laughs> okay. Point taken, point it's taken. the same thing. Yeah, we done did it. iPhone but, don't, can't do it like Jordan. No. Nah. Well, you know, for some people, like you said, you know, we wasn't able to get it when we were coming up. You know what I mean? So now we get a chance that's to get cool. it again. And that's cool. We able to get new stuff. Let's get n- something new. I, I've seen it before. It was popular at the time. And it's popular we just again. No, it's not that popular. We was in school. New the only thing we cared, the only thing we cared about was sneakers in the, school. Do you see hey. the lines outside of the store? <laughs> yeah. Do you see like people that getting line hurt? Is still low. No. Okay, no. that's true. But how many people are you really coming in contact on a daily basis that's gonna have those shoes? I it see must them be every enough. Day. Well, it must be enough if he's talking about <laughs> until all the black people unite. I ain't selling I'm, no more Jordans. I'm trying to tell you, that's a lie. <laughs> that's a lie. He lied. Jordan. He lied. <laughs> Jordan. Sell your damn shoes and just release statements. And don't well, at least money. if you're going to sell the same shoe, don't make it so damn expensive. Why I got to go through the same struggle over it's again? <laughs> you can't for this manufactured cleaner shoe. It's new material. Uh, yeah. <laughs> It's new material. Get out of here. Well, shiny, a little shiny. But, Get you know, out of here. I do appreciate the fact that he's actually talking. Yeah. For a long time, you know, everybody was like, man, he got don't got nothing shoes. else to do. <laughs> he old as hell now. Who wanted, who wanted you finally talking? You 50, 60 years old. How old is Jordan? How does Jordan? How old is he? I don't know. I don't know. We don't even know. We forgot. I say that he's 50, 60, then ask how old is he? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. He got kids. But look at that. That's good. How old is he? Jordan is old. So, you know, come on. like. He's 53. He's 53. I mean, I grew up watching oh, that's young. Jordan. So, you know what I'm saying? I, I still like Jordan. I give him. I like him as a basketball player, and I like his shoes. Who he is as a person, I don't know who he is, but that's what I buy. Maybe he do got that extra money. According to Forbes, his net worth is $1.14 billion, So maybe he's That'd be lying. about that life. Take a break. Release them, the Release them tax returns. Release them tax returns. Release them tax returns. I'm calling everybody to release their tax returns if they claim it's up. I don't believe you until you release your tax returns. Hey. Hey. Donald Trump, that means you too. Look, hey. Release them tax returns. Hey. <laughs> Donald, we need it. So I was parading through uh, World Style and um, parading. Parading. You were through. parading. <laughs> parading. Parancing. Through. <laughs> okay. No, so not parancing. Parading. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was just scrolling on through. So I was scrolling on through, and it was a it was a baby it was a baby mother versus a baby father type of ordeal, Ooh. and um, um, basically the baby father the baby mother called the police on the baby father showed up to the house and um, wanted to take the child now the baby father was well prepared had his papers and everything in, in order as far as the the custody and how the visitation and everything was supposed to work and it just seemed like the baby mother was just a little bit butthurt you know and he tried to make a scene petty. for no reason he he Petty. Petty. <laughs> petty. 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 petty, all the time. So my thing show. is, my thing is, she's very petty. My thing is, <clears throat> dealing in, in in that situation with a crazy baby mother, you know. And I'm gonna ask Chris, you Mr. Know, you well. not, not to say we, you don't have kids, but just as a man, 
going through that situation where you have to deal with a crazy baby mother, how important is it to, to I guess, use the law in your in your favor? I mean, it's really not built anyway. in our favor, but this, you know, how? It's important anyway. You know what? And videos like, I'm saying, because a lot of times they don't really show the man doing the right thing. It's already automatic that, yeah, the man, he's trying to leave or whatever the case may be. So seeing the man actually saying, I got the paperwork and I'm paying child support, it's my turn to have my children. So, hey, you know, I'm doing the right thing, talking to the police. I think that, that, was, that, was, that was what we need to see. That's okay. what we need to see. All right. Oxytos. Any, okay. any comments? Um, I did see the video. Okay. Um. You know, I'm always down to have a woman's back. You already know where I stand. I'm However, down to have a woman's back, too. She was <laughs> Me having, too. <laughs> she was me. definitely going through a petty sode. Um, You know, he came out. He had his papers. He was doing a lot, too, though. He was doing a lot, too. To shut up when you come outside, show your papers to the cop, and go back inside. The cop didn't knock on the door. He came outside. I get it. They were on his property, but he was saying, like, little jabs at her, little things at her. Like, it takes two. I think at the end of the day, it takes two of them to go back and forth to bitter to argue. If he would just leave her alone, let her get over it, and try to ignore her, then maybe. But how can he ignore away. her when she came to his property? Yeah. <laughs> she came to his house. He came to pick up his daughter. All he had to do was let the cop know. He never once said, officer, I would really like her to leave my property. You see my papers. He did I'm tell her. He said he no. He didn't say that. Yes. He didn't tell the officer to have her to leave. There's a certain way you got to do stuff, especially when you're working legally. But they were on the sidewalk. Well, well, then it's not she his property was. then. It's not his property then. I mean, they, I don't know the backstory. I don't know what he did to make her so livid or so angry or why she can't move on or why she feels like she has to do this. I don't know. Oh, there's always but a backstory. There's always a backstory. There's two sides to every story. But That's from true. the video, she was having a petty show. She needs to get herself together. But generally speaking, I don't know their situation. I mean, him too. He was egging it on. He liked the attention. Yeah, you just with me because I don't want you no more. Oh, oh. All that was unnecessary, honey. Okay. The women, the women, the women do it. You're doing too. them up. You're doing yeah, them up. The no, but my too. thing is, <laughs> it was unnecessary drama. Like, why you have to bring the police to my door? We just went to court. We just one is three numbers. Yeah, we we just we just went to court. We just settled this. We just put this on. Yeah, I know she was being petty. She was trying to, but it that causes severe consequences. Like what? Like he could have got locked up. He did. He had his papers. He had his papers, but some but some cops don't care, yo. Like sometimes it could have just been like he did it right. He did it. He did what he was supposed to do. He did what he was supposed to do, but it could have been a wrong cop. In the wrong situation, and it, it could have made him. Come on, it could yeah, have shot. It, and it, just because you have matter. your papers together, that is, she was there, making up anything. There's always going to be what is. Let me tell you, he knew who she was when he got with her. He should have known who he she didn't. was before he laid down with I'm her. I'm pretty sure he and did. He procreated with her, so like, there's always consequences to every and action. And that happens all so, the time. But that's what I'm saying. There's consequences to every action. So but, maybe that's just his consequence for laying know. down and having a baby with a woman he wasn't married to. Or that he wasn't gonna stay. With a lot forever. of women have kids with men that they're not married and that's to, what I'm and saying. that they there's no like, way to know. It's just the way it's the, no, the dice roll. Exactly. So, so when you deal with women that try to uh, see, my thing is this leads to a bigger thing. Okay. This leads to women that abuse the system because it is kind of built in your favor when it comes to guys that are really trying to really be no. in their kids' life. And then you have a, a woman that's bitter and wants to put you on child support, that wants to do all of this, that wants to take you to court, that wants you not to see your child just because you don't want to deal with them. It's just a lot of generalizations. That's not everybody's situation. And I think the system is built towards helping the responsible or the uh, primary parent, not necessarily a male or female thing. It has nothing to do with gender. It's about who's actually there and taking care of the child. So there are a lot of fathers who have their child in their custody. And for the mom who has the child in their custody, that's what I think it matters. That primary caregiver, parent, that's who the system benefits. All right, if... Who's the mamas out here that's paying child support? I need you to tell me right now. If you're a female oh, out let me here tell paying you, child support. There are moms paying child support. I believe that, but it ain't but enough. But I think that's only because they make a lot, a lot of money. Yeah, they make no, more money. He just came only, out of jail. He ain't making no money. You know how you get child support? 
you file for child support. So if you didn't file for it, then you're not going to get it. You hear that, man? You can file for child support. Yes. If you, you I think if the child is living with you when you are the primary caregiver, the but other parent is not doing anything. But that's if the child is living with you. If the child's not living then with you, then you're not going to get child support if the child's not living with you. But the, nine times out of ten, they're not going to allow the child they're to live with allow. you. That's not true. That Let is me true. Tell you. Let me tell you, a lot of men just give up their rights. Men need to know their rights. If you have a baby with someone, that child is equally yours. Who just magically says the child gets to stay with the mom? You know the what? Judge. No, the judge. Not all the time. Not all the time. So, who, you, so just, who says that then? Because the man will just be like, oh, go stay with your mother. They just leave the child to the mom. So that's your fault. Certain laws in certain states allow the mother primary custody regardless. It's hard for guys to get full custody it's of their hard. child if their mom is capable of working and providing. Period, point blank. You just okay, can't get it just because you want it. I know a lot of people who have twin custody. I'm tired of guys trying to play the Cinderella or be victimized. It's not like, playing the no. You can, you can get joint custody. Joint custody. You can be a primary caregiver. It's all in how hard you're willing to fight for but your But look, we yes. can get joint custody, yes. but that doesn't mean the that the child is living with us. The system is not meant to break you down. A lot of men don't even attempt, don't, don't even try. They want to be like, oh, she took the baby. You and don't do nothing about movement. it. That you have to serious. be proactive. You have to go back and go after what you want. If you want to be in your kid's life, be proactive about it. Don't be passive. And a lot of men take a passive approach is what I'm saying. It's not passive. We already it know is. what it's going to be. You and your nine All times right. out of so ten. Your baby, See that? Listen, no, 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 no. <laughs> you just said because we all, that's uh -oh. that passive stuff uh -oh. that I'm talking about. Passive. You just Listen. said because we, we already know what it's going to be. Passive. No. You don't know what it's going to be. You don't know what it's going to be. Females, are, if you are you out know. here paying child support, I need but you to put it up. Hashtag. I'm just trying to let you know you have rights too. No. That's it. If your baby dad, right? Okay, if the father of my child. If, you're, if, if the father of your child wanted to have your child full time meaning that your child we we have joint custody but i have so i have pretty much majority because the child lives with me you're not gonna the state is not gonna go for your what? baby father taking over like that it's, it's just not built well, that way not if the child they prefer is already if, living with the mother because it's all about the best what's best for the child right so no so what Mike makes it what best what, been living yeah, with what, his mom what criteria what makes, makes it, it best yeah. That preferably Mike, Mike, the child should stay with the man. If little Mike, Mike, and Marvin has been living with his mom, it's like your scenario plays out, and then automatically the father wants custody out of nowhere, and he's 11. It's not in the best interest of the child to snatch him out of where he's been and where he's used to so be. The, the way around. The child is always going to be with the with the if mom the because the mom. Burst no, the child. See, that's Listen, where you messed up. The no, child is not always going to be with the mom. Let me tell you. Let me tell you why. Because. Because the, the child comes out, the child nurse. You have to nurse the child when they're born. They're already you with to. you. There's a lot of women who don't breastfeed the child's bottle fed, so that's a, a, an option. It's a choice. I've never Not seen a guy take care of a child right, right, right from birth, right Where from the hospital. Where have you been? There's mothers who give birth and die. So not every woman who has a child lives to take care of it. Yeah, so but what's the ratio life, of that? What do you, what do you mean? It's not, these are people's lives. You don't need to boil it down to a ratio. These are actual things that are okay, happening in people's Okay, in those cases, then yes. Okay, okay. In those cases, yes. <laughs> I just want to know who is paying more child support. Hashtag drinks and conversation. <laughs> Females, if you are out here paying it's, child support. Yes. Some women do. conversation. I want to know I want to know you the are. Child I'm going to give too. you all the love and respect. <laughs> you are out here paying child support. <laughs> Hashtag <laughs> drinks and conversation. Man, let we me ain't going to get nobody going to respond. But I let me know. say, child support does not mean that you're supporting your child. So let's not get it twisted. Just because you're paying child support does not mean that you're supporting your I child. I agree with that. I so agree with that. Saying. You must be in your children's lives. You must be playing some type of action or role yes. in your child's be life. Be there. Money be don't present. mean nothing to them when they're growing up. They want to see who they see, and that's who's doing it. But ladies, make sure you keep your feelings in check. Don't be showing up at your ex house for your baby father house, going off, doing all police. of this. Sit your ass down. Let me tell you like, something. Let, let, the if, if, if the dad want to be in, 
in, in, in the life in that in your child's life, let them at I any agree. means possible. I agree. Don't be but mad also, because you don't want you can't be with. Let's them. not be so sexist. How about, sexist. Say, yes. how about we just say I'm not sexist. How about we just say if your spouse? Why well, gotta be ladies? Because sometimes it's guys on the it's other ladies. side of the no, fence. So ladies. if your spouse, yeah, okay. it's ladies. It's yeah, I know who that ladies. spouse is. <laughs> Look, hey, you, a majority. you know who the spouse is. Where are your statistics for all this majority and nine Well, out that's of why I'm hashtagging. I want to know what guess? it is. Hashtag drink conversation so I can find out <laughs> what that number is. I want to know. Intro picks, they assume stuff. They say generalizing stuff nine times out of ten. What are you talking <laughs> about? Know. What are you referring to? What are you getting I do. these stats? I do. What are you talking about? I do. I do. Because no. it'd be true. Listen. But moving on. I have. <laughs> <laughs> no, we definitely got to move on because I definitely can stay on that topic all day. You know? Respect okay. to all the people that's out here taking yes. care of their responsibility. Absolutely. Male or female. It don't yes. really matter. That's what I'm talking about. But I about. still want to know hashtag drinks and conversation of <laughs> females out here. Pinch. That's paying that yeah. child support. Right. Paying that child support. Well, they got good jobs. They work All for right. the male. So it's funny because I have a social question for you both. And I have okay. an intro pick who is in a relationship. He's been in a long, committed relationship. And I also have Mr. UL here who is single and happy. All right. So <laughs> when it comes to your spouse or you being in a relationship, do you think it's cool for your girl to hit up the strip club with you? Or do you think that's like, oh, no, she, my girl should not be like with me in the strip club. That's just for me and my boys. Hey, if you come to the strip club with me so you can get some type of ideas on how to go back and satisfy me, I'm cool. I'm all for it. I'm for it. You know, you know, if you come to the strip club, it's like, you know, we having fun. You know, first of all, we ain't leaving with no stripper and we ain't doing nothing with no stripper. And we going anyway. to the female strip yeah. club. Yeah, we just anyway, going to watch so a show. Up. It's like going to a burlesque show, you know? Okay. So you're doing that. Okay, so would you all be willing to accompany your female to an all-male strip club? Absolutely not. What's no. the difference? No. It's a lot it's of a, a difference. It's a little bit of a difference. You know a, difference actually, is. it's a lot of a difference. Now, I it's a lot no of male man. ego in, 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 in that, and it's just not the same. It's just not the same. <laughs> <laughs> Two it women can same. kiss and it looks it like two no. men can't kiss. First of all, most most women don't even like male strip, um, club. strip clubs. They anyway. might. Some women like it. They be there. Yeah. They be there. They don't Just go ahead and, 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 and enjoy it. I don't want my girl to want to go to a male strip club. But you want her to want to go to a female strip club. I mean, I don't yeah. mind. If a female, yeah. you with your girls, and you want to go to a male strip club, that's fine. Hey, listen, there's double home. standards in life. I it see is it. Double standards oh, in I life. see the sexism <laughs> and the double standard very clearly with you two guys. We watching it on the news, right? <laughs> <laughs> Who we voting for? Hillary! <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, you think well. Hil- you think Hillary went with Bill to the to the uh, strip club every once in a while? No, no because that's why no. Somebody underneath you the never bug. know people. They they probably did some stuff back then. I don't know. Nah, yeah. I've never been to a strip club. I'm still You've with my never been to a strip I've club. I've never been to a strip club. <laughs> You've never been to like any never. strip club. Like, would you go to a, Would you go to a women's strip club? Absolutely not. Would you go to so you would go to a male strip club as well? I'm like what? Would you go no. to Would you go to a male strip? No, I'm not into that. I think that's that's not attractive to me for a guy. To be, it is not attractive to me. All right, how about okay. this? Let me ask you this. So, if you got a man that says, "You know what? I really want you to, you know, show me your sex," and you don't really know what that sex is, would you be into going to the strip club if you say, "You know what? I want you to come to the strip club with me." Um. I would need to go to a strip club to find my sexy, but I wouldn't go. <laughs> I would definitely decline so the offer. So you need to tell me if your man said, baby, no. I want you to come to the strip club with me. You're not going? But you will allow your man to go to a strip club. Look, I don't want to know about it. You know what I'm saying? I'm that's not like, with that. That's I'm what not with that. Is. I don't want to. Uh, we just talked let about let that. Let me tell you. Standard. That's <laughs> stuff that goes on in the I'm back looking room to the left. strip club. In the back room. In the back room. You got to have some money to go to the back room. Hey. Hey, if well, maybe I'm, sometimes if you If I'm don't. dealing with him, he got the money, okay? So, <laughs> so he can afford the back room. But see, I don't need no man who's into that. Not all men are into the strip club, so. Not all. No, not, no, I'm not. I need one that's not into it. That's like, true. I'm not you, with it. That's true. I, I'm one of them. I'm not really all into the strip club. you all your money yeah, Hold on. <laughs> I'm not really into I've it. I've been through it. I'm not going to lie. I've but been I, through but it. But I will. But I'm not going no more, though. 
Keeping them dollars. I appreciate the dollar. Keeping them dollars. I can't just be throwing dollars up in the air. Like, you know what I can do with that dollar? I'm where a businessman, an entrepreneur. So exactly. we learn how to flip our money real quick. I know, that's right. No, seriously. I don't know. I'm just not with the whole strip club thing. Now, that's cool. Email, that's cool. Uh, you know what I mean? So... I know you're an entrepreneur, so yes, you're ma'am. running it now. But yes, you had a job before where you worked for other people, right? Uh, I was in the military. So I, guess oh, I, was, yeah. I was working for our president. Oh, so then you, you're not... I don't know, military guys are not really gross. Like, you guys, not like that, but I feel like you guys just have our instructions where, like, the sanitary standards are not that serious. Like, I don't think you always have a time to wash your hands. I think, like, a military guy might kick his nose real quick. I think, like, it's just, like, you don't care. But I was reading this article about coworkers and dealing with some of your coworkers who are not in sanitary. So let's say, like, they may have food for everybody and they just jump right into the food without washing their hands or picking over everyone's food. Or let's say you have your lunch out and someone comes and say, oh, my gosh, Mr. UL, that smells so good, and come so close to your food and sniff it. What would you do? Yeah, I'm kind of against that. I still do got some of that military stuff. You know, I remember when I first joined, I mean, we were literally in line waiting for our food. So we had some real type of respect on how we deal that. Ain't nobody else touching my food besides the person that's serving it. I know, that's right. Hey. <laughs> I'm picky about going to, like, having people serve me and, and stuff like that. Like, But then it... Depends on how hungry I am. Cause then I might be like, fuck it. Yeah, go back to that. I don't give a fuck what you did back then. Just give me the intro pick. As long as yeah. this shit look good. No, but like, what do you say to someone in that situation? Like, if they're just like come in and they're like, they're, they didn't wash their hands and you see them, you're like, oh, let me tell you what happened. Why? I was at work one day, right? So they brought donuts for everybody, Dunkin' Donuts. And I'm just sitting there and I'm eating my lunch and a young lady walks in and she goes to the donuts, opens them puts her hand on every single donut, right? Because she's trying to make a choice about which donut to get. Then she says, picks up one and says, no, I don't want that one, and then takes another one. So I'm like, you know you just touch every single donut, right? That's how business she is. She said, no, I business. didn't. I said, no, I just watched you. You touch every single donut. And this no is like, donut. oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, don't tell anyone. You That's know what? what? Because, talking. no, Dude, some people really gross. don't know. But some people really she didn't don't know. know. That's know. just like, well, I and don't I also know, don't hurt. I also nah, believe I threw that those donuts away because I felt bad for everybody else, and I don't want to eat. <laughs> you knew. <laughs> but look, you knew. I feel like I feel like even if you do have gloves on, because a lot of times people will put on gloves. Even if you do have gloves on, you're touching. Just because you have gloves on, that don't mean you can't touch every single thing. Like you can't go and touch the pan. And then go ahead and touch the counter, and then go ahead and touch the food, just because you got gloves on. Like it's they be for doing you to make that sure at you don't Subway. I be checking them at Subway. I be like, change your gloves. Yeah, change your gloves. like you touching, you touching all the utensils, you touching everything else, but you got gloves on, and you think that it's cool, like it's not. I don't eat donuts, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Just get the damn gloves on and touch only my food. Exactly. And then you and then you switch gloves. But if you touch anything else like material pans, pots, anything, even the little shit that go in the toaster, don't. <laughs> the handle. <laughs> that little thing that but it should on. be no, all right to be able to tell it? somebody to change their gloves. I don't say yeah. nothing about it. I don't oh. say nothing about it. If you want a fresh uh, thing not, of not all French time. fries. You tell them I don't want no salt on my french fries. They're going to go make some hot french fries. Anybody, if you want a brand new batch of french fries, when you go anywhere, but what you if tell you them you don't want no salt on it, they got to go make you a brand new batch of french but fries. But what if you want salt? But then you tell them put salt on it. <laughs> I you know. tell them put salt on it. Thank you. <laughs> you know what? These nasty. Give me some salt. <laughs> you ain't making them right. put my salt on the side. I want you the little packages. Right. Don't you touch no myself. salt on my french fries. <laughs> <laughs> we don't like sodium. <laughs> you ain't make them right. We just like it on the side. But that's why I don't really like to eat at the Waffle House a little bit because the Waffle House in the you know in the South is kind of like they don't they just be doing whatever. They don't mind using their hands and stuff like that. You no, know, almost everybody in the South kind of big, right? Yeah. <laughs> no disrespect to the people out in the why South. Why they even put some on the end? I know who I'm talking about. Don't even play with me. 
<laughs> All right, so you know I'm a, I'm a, I love my web series, right? Okay. So my web series is getting good right now. I watch actually Chef Julian on Black and Sexy TV. So you got this one character. Like his name is Zero, right? I'm gonna give y'all a quick one down. Y'all tell me who's wrong okay. or right? Because I feel like Zero is the sweetest, and I just need me a Daryl in my life. Who's Daryl? Daryl? You need you a Daryl in your life. I need Hold a on, hashtag who's Daryl? Team Zero. He's the dude from the web series. So y'all don't know about the web series. Y'all gotta get hip. But basically, I'm gonna give I you a quick rundown. I ain't supposed to know rundown. about Daryl. It's was, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he was BFF with Daryl's made look, up. Look, look. So don't worry about name is He was friends well. with Julian, right? So Julian. Who me? No, they got a character series. named yes, after me. Yes. Oh, my yes. man, is Julian. Yeah. It's All right. Joe, what's his the name of this <laughs> series? My man, it's so big. It's Chef Julian, right? No, Chef but listen. Julian? So basically, Chef Julian and Daryl, they're friends, right? Okay. So Julian, he's fine. He runs through a lot of ladies, and he always passes them off to Daryl because he don't really want them. So he's Daryl works like a body he shop. All the ladies. So Daryl will like do something for him, like fix a window or whatever, and send him on his way. But Daryl started feeling this one zone who Julian ended up catching feelings for, right? Okay. But he didn't tell nobody he caught feelings for. He was magically out of the sky caught feelings for her. Okay. <laughs> now, Daryl has the opportunity to actually be with the chick. Okay. Should he take it or not? I mean, if you, it depends on how how deep does your love go. Well, they how they how deep so. does well, the river flow, you other. know? So Julian and Daryl fought each other. They had a fight. They got locked up and everything. So I don't know if they're friends anymore. It's in the Bible, ain't it? <laughs> What's the brother's name? Everything's in the Bible. <laughs> Listen. So do you think he should go up. for it? I say go for it because I need, he's a good dude, and I need Wendy to be happy. But if you're feeling one of your friend's girl. That he passed up that he it, really didn't want. What, what, he was, what, when is it appropriate? All right, well, I feel like I'm in one of those situations right now. Oh, uh, right now? <laughs> he's like, he ain't one of those situations right now. Opening up. Open it up. So I know. Uh-huh. What are you breaking on? That's, that's, that's what that Hennessy do. That's what that Hennessy do. I'm giving a little bit of it. You know what I mean? I got a friend, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that's my cousin's friend. He introduced me to her. Well, nah, he ain't really introduced me to her, but uh, I met her. Um be cool you know it, you don't nobody say nothing but every now and then i think about it because i'm like i know you spend more time with her and now i'm kind of like taking her away from him so um but i mean if that's I mean, what you, you want to do if that's what you want to do i mean if she's the one that's really touching your heart or something like that i mean you should follow your heart no matter what it is mm. you everybody else got to understand it it is what it is i know that Okay. Okay. Tell you. Now, how long I'm going to be with her or something like that, I don't know. Because, you know, life just takes it, so I don't know. But I'm just saying, I can see how it kind of happens, so it's okay. I'm off of this relationship. I'm here for Daryl <laughs> and Wendy. What? I'm so invested <laughs> in this. Y'all don't understand. I've been watching these web series. I'd be like, yo, I need a relationship. I know everything. Tosin be really, she be really into this. I'm, I, I'm telling you, they are giving me so much fun. Okay, then, so if that's the case, what you waiting for? Daryl. Daryl. <laughs> Daryl. Everybody out here, if your name is Daryl, hashtag drink some conversation and put hashtag Daryl. She done and ran into many Daryls and didn't I believe take the she opportunity. Has as well, but she ain't meet all the Daryls yet, so you still got a chance. Hey, Mr. Daryl. Hey, drink some conversation. We out here. Yeah. His, his name might have been Derek. Instead Darryl, of Darryl. No, your name. You now, know I know it's more than one way to spell Darryl. You know who you so need to see? You, you know oh. who you need to see? Oh. Well, you can't see it no more. What? Miss Cleo. Oh. Miss Cleo would have told you exactly what to do. Rest in peace to Miss Cleo. Yeah. You know, I used to watch Miss Cleo back in the day. I know. I, lo- I love Miss Cleo. Everybody was watching that infomercial. Call But I never now. called. I never called. You ain't get your free therapy. <laughs> no, get your free parliament out. Miss Cleo be telling you shit that you done already told her and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm pregnant. All right. The man I think you're pregnant too. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're pregnant, matter of fact. <laughs> did you take the test on Wednesday? I did. Was it positive? Yes. I see you I pregnant. saw that. I saw that. Do you I believe saw. that there's people out here that can really tell the future, though? I do. No, I, do. I, I don't know about telling the future. I think people who prophesy and they can see things. I think, they, I yeah. think people may have premoni- premonition okay. of things to come, whether it happens or not. But 
No, I, because at the end of the day, we all could kind of see into the future a little bit. We got right. like a small glimpse. Like if you know something's coming your way, you know the duck. Or you, if you see something, you kind of could tell things a little bit before they're about to happen right. a little bit. But you're talking so, about somebody's life, though, that I ain't never meet uh, you before. I, I mean, I'm just, I'm anything just saying, possible. I, don't, I don't know. I'm just asking. Anything's possible. This is true. Anything is possible. But do you know that anything is possible when I'm telling Listen, you? Listen, <laughs> I'm waiting to meet the day that I meet somebody that tells me about myself. And I'll be like, what You won't get married. Real Girl, soon. do not come <laughs> on Real my soon. social media telling me that you know about me. I do not want to hear it. Tell me now. i tell you whatever you want to know. Pay me now. i you gonna have you long you hair block. by the block. end of the year. <laughs> <laughs> like what? You okay. growing locks? You gonna have locks? Grow locks. Like, Basic yeah. stuff. You can follow me, but I'm not following you, block. <laughs> <laughs> All day. Listen, we gonna miss Miss Cleo. Yes, I know. Gonna, rest in peace. Honestly, we gonna miss rest in peace. She was we the gonna, first person that I knew that could tell the future. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Cleo had everybody on lock, and then next yes, thing you know, her, her shit was gone. All the infomercials was pulled, yes, yes, all of that type of stuff. We was like, because hey, I, I used to see the commercials all the time. I'm like, who the hell is calling Miss fucking Cleo? Hey, Call now. They calling her commercials started off real, like, real mediocre. <laughs> then she started having stuff line and graphics. And yeah, I know, and shit. That commercials money was coming money. in. So she was the doing money something. Was in. She yeah. was doing something. <laughs> but I respect the grind. Absolutely. Yeah. You got to respect everybody's grind. Get your grind. And get your money. Absolutely. You yeah. know what? Now you talk about grinds, man. I am tired of these people that are oh, wow, telling me, you know what I'm saying, I'm homeless. Do you mind giving me a dollar? If you outside and the degrees is 100 and you talking about can I get a dollar, you can do something. You can go and you can do something. You can go to a cooling center, honestly. I don't think I you always stand say, outside in 112 degree weather. I always say when I meet, like, homeless people and they trying to ask for money, like, it's the, the same way you out here asking for money. It don't take you nothing but to buy a case of water yeah. and to sell it for a dollar. Respect. Respect. I guess. I just don't care. Curry, you already care. out here. If I have something, I give it, and oh, well, I, I feel like, okay, if they're using it for good, hopefully, if not, whatever. I mean, I don't. I just don't have the time to decipher whether you're genuine or not. You know what I mean? I'm not going to sit there and just think about it. I'm like, look, if I have it, take it, whatever. I, I wouldn't say if you're genuine or not because the fact that you don't is the fact that somebody will really scam you that really don't need the money. That's fine. But the whole point of it is is for you to stop and say, hey, like most people don't want to stop and be like, well, what are you doing out here? What's your story? I ain't doing no, I don't got time. I don't got time for all of that. <laughs> don't got time for all that. Don't get me wrong. You know, my heart, is, got my, heart is, my heart is gold. So, you know, if, got if I feel like that God shit. came to me and said, you know what, give that person what I got in my pocket, which is a dollar, um, then I do it. But other than that, nah, man, because it's like, okay, normally in the morning when I was, I, I spent two years in the hospital as I was recovering when I came back from Iraq. And um, there used to be people that was getting dropped off on the corner going towards, I can't say that, but there used to be people that was driving and dropping these people off at the corner and they already got signs made talking about I'm homeless and I got kids and blah, blah, blah. If you get dropped off in the morning at a corner, that means you can get dropped off at a job and do something. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm not giving unless Preach it's a stop. homeless person that's really like on the side of the corner looking rough, rough, rough. And this and that. if you at my local giant, I'm sorry. I can't so just they, go in there and steal so some. Be, so they got to be destitute Back in the day. to get some help from you. What Don't. if they just need a little, a little help? A little help. help. I ain't never heard nobody. Don't get mad at me if I say... I don't got the dollar to give you, but we can go inside real quick because I figure you homeless or you hungry. Let me go get you this McDonald's sandwich, and then you get mad at me talking about I don't want no they sandwich. Oh, they, don't they, don't <laughs> they, they don't need that. They, they don't need, need that. <laughs> they don't need it. All right, so no, seriously, though, Mr. UL, I always yes, ask people this yes, other ma'am. question as well. Yes, ma'am. We like secrets. You got to tell us something that don't nobody know about you. Ooh. 
Uh, hold on, let's come back to that. We gotta come back to that. Let me, <laughs> Are we gonna let me think about the right thing to do. I'm, I'm gonna think about it. I'm gonna give y'all something. I'm you gonna better give us something. You gotta, you gotta something. give it to us now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a, I'm a, you gotta give it to us now. We about to okay. wrap up. We no about to go. Up. So you gotta right, let, let us ask, know. Ask the question one more time. Ask the question. All right. So we really like secrets here. Okay. And when you come on, you gotta tell us something about you that nobody else knows. Oh man. Oh. Anything you want. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Is the Hennessy opening them up a little I bit? Think I don't so. know. Okay. Oh, man. Um I'm a fan of Dragon Ball Z. I don't know if anybody knows okay. the right. Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, well, I'm a fan. Oh, shout I'm out to all my Dragon Ball Z, you hey. know what I'm saying? People that's out here. Y'all know Goku and everybody else okay. can. Now, you know, all I'm a right. fan of Dragon Ball Z. A lot of people don't know that. <laughs> You can DM me and you can find out the other <laughs> secret. Is. No cool day, son. <laughs> so, Mr. UL would like y'all to slide in that DM. <laughs> All day long. Yeah. Well, thank you for coming out and, Absol- tuning, it was and hanging pleasure. with us. Oh, it was man, a pleasure. Great man. time. Great time. The conversation, man. I appreciate it. You know, this is my homie right here. This is my homie. Long time, man. We've grown together for so many yeah. years now. Yeah. So I appreciate to be yeah. able to be here now on a real show and listening to drinks and conversation and seeing how y'all grow. It's inspired me to keep doing what I'm doing. So that's what's up. I appreciate y'all. Oh, oh absolutely. We better do a little something, you son, son, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> well, we about to get up out of here, y'all. It's yes, another y'all. episode of Drinks, Drinks and Conversation. Conversation. Yo, yo, yo. And um, we out. We're going to be out. We out of here, so, you know, pump it up. Yeah, I'm about pump to go do up. my Omarion real quick. Oh, Damn. Uh-uh. Uh, all day uh, long. She got playing this Joe Button. Nobody day. better come to our house. I uh, know, right? Right? Because we ain't got time. That's how it is right now. This would have been some good coming. music when he was chasing them. I know. That should have been. Pump it up. What? He was about to shoot him up. They were scared. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. So sorry. So sorry, sir. That was funny. Shoot him up, really? <laughs> no, boy. We out, y'all. Adios. Hey.